a decision. Do I fight for my life or do I stand here and watch? Walmart fought hard to keep us from getting this video because they didn't want you to see it. Four employees take down an armed shoplifter, but the retail giant fired the workers for doing what they thought was right. It's a story you'll see only on KSL 5. When we first told you about the seemingly heroic actions of the four Layton Walmart employees, the story made national headlines. The workers also gained a lot of public support and sued Walmart for wrongful termination. Jed Bull shows us the video and brings us up to speed on the case. Well, Deanie, this is the video that Walmart fought so hard to keep us from getting. But after repeated government records requests, four of them, Layton City finally released it to us today. The former workers who were fired, they haven't seen this video either. They're also seeing it right now for the first time. Last January 13th, Walmart employees led Trent Allen Longton into a security office after they saw him stuff a notepad computer under his clothes. He takes it out, sets it on the desk, but not long after he pulled out the laptop, Longton went for a gun in his pocket and made a move for the door. Time stopped. I, I didn't know what to do. The shoplifter jammed a gun into Gabe Stewart's back. We offered to show the former employees the video and get their comments, but they declined for now because of their ongoing civil suit in federal court. But they did tell us their story last winter, and as you can see, the gunman struggled with three workers against the wall and had them worried. He looked right at me and said, the gun is cocked. Come on, guys, just let me go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to hurt anybody. Don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. As they wrestled away from the wall, you can see the workers have the gun isolated, but they're still trying to get control. I reached up and grabbed his wrist and his shoulder and spun him around. Lori Polson moves in, rips the gun away, and takes it from the struggling man. You have to make a decision. Do I fight for my life or do I stand here and watch? The struggle eases up and they hang on to Longton until the police arrive and cuff him just a couple of minutes later. The next week, Walmart fired the four employees. Company policy states workers must disengage once a suspect pulls a gun. At the time, Walmart defended the firings in a statement. We appreciate the intentions demonstrated by our associates in this situation, but the actions taken put their safety and potentially the safety of our customers and other associates in jeopardy. Three of those workers are suing Walmart over wrongful termination. They've lost wages, insurance, and they want compensation. I honestly felt worse than, than when I had the gun to my back. I, I honestly felt betrayed. When we persevered in getting this video, Walmart even threatened Layton to try to keep the city from releasing it. In a letter last week, their attorneys wrote to Layton, if Layton City intends to release Walmart's videotape to KSL, Walmart will move forward in district court. The attorney for the former employees told me this afternoon that uh, with regards to their case, their civil federal case, it wouldn't go to trial for a couple of years, but they also anticipate a uh, settlement offer from Walmart. So Bruce, Deanie, we'll see how this all plays out. All right. Interesting video, Jed. Thank you.